Hi, many of us have heard of the word quarantine and a lot of people thought the word quarantine is directly connected with the word corona. But the truth was, it was introduced by a Persian who was originally born in the land of Bukhara, which is today known as Samarkand, by the name of Ibn Sina. So Ibn Sina is a person who was considered the doctors of doctors or the physicians of the physicians and also he is known as the father of uh, medicine. So this particular individual, as you can see, he's been a profound figure to understand how medical systems have been working during the golden age of Islam. Now when it comes into the golden age of Islam, wait till you hear some of something very interesting which happened uh, in the latter part of his life. So during Ibn Sina's time, he found out that there are diseases which can actually get uh, spread to microorganisms and he started to introduce a methodology where people can get isolated from each other. And the isolation was recommended for 40 days. And he called this al arbain once this system went into the West and Central Europe, the methodology of Al Arba'in, or in other words known as the 40, was transformed or transferred or translated into other languages and it was then called Quarantine because Quarantine also means 40. So if you go and look at a direct translation from the Italian language, you will understand that Quarantine means 40. Not only that, when Ibn Sina wrote many books like uh, Al Kanun Fitib, or known as the Kanun of Medicine, and many other books, as you can see, he actually starts with uh, the letters Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And not only that, when his name was transformed into the European system, they did not word, pronounce the word. Ibn Sina, they pronounce the word Avicenia and therefore he is known as Avicenia. Even till date, the WHO, the World Health Organization, uses a directory called the Avicenia Directory and uh, he is very famous around many parts of the world and even during the World uh, Physician Days, Google has a special consideration as you can see given towards him. One of the most interesting facts I found at a university called the Grodno State Medical University you can actually see the photograph of Ibn Sina displayed there amongst all founders of medical fraternities around the world and you would also see here and uh, this is a particular video I took upon in the university uh, in East Europe in a state called the Grodno State Medical uh, University two more other things is that in the latter part of uh, Ibn Sina there were very serious considerations done with Islamic scholars and even Imam Ghazali has announced and said that there have been 17 serious statements of infidelity or takfir or kufriyat which has been done by Ibn Sina that is something which uh, Islamic students also have uh, should notice also some of the modern uh, speakers also have spoken about this as you can see here finally i would like to share an interesting video which is in russian which actually was a movie which was created in order to show the involvement of ibn sina or avicenia and how he his involvement was there in curing people and things like that so let's watch this part have a nice day. А, мне давно хотелось встретиться с вами. Я много слышал о вас. So at this point you would note that Ibn Sina requests some clothes and vinegar in order to get cleaned. С какого народа такой обычай? В какой стране? Это должно стать обычаем той страны, где свирепствует черная смерть. Понимаю. Заходите. Заходите. Прошу вас. Досточтимый Ибн Сина, скажите, можно ли бороться с черной смертью? 
Можно. Да? И для этого прежде всего необходимо освободить людей от страха перед этой болезнью. Самое главное не бояться. Верно. Okay, so kindly note the observations here because not just that the virus can go from one person to another person, it can even stay in your hands or hair and the most interesting thing is that it even moves through air. So you know what did he recommend at that time to stop gatherings, markets and even visiting the mosque and he recommended the mosque should be closed and people have to stay at home and this was widely spread around everyone in that area so that everyone gets the message. Покиньте базар, пусть торговцы разносят свои товары по домам. Так говорит великий лекарь Ибн Сина. Деньги опускайте, сосуды с уксусом. Эй, люди, не бойтесь черной смерти. Кто ухаживает за больным, пусть смочит вату в уксусе и запьет себя этой ватой у нос. А во рту пусть держит листья полыни. Сидите дома, веселитесь. Черная смерть убегает от музыки и веселья. Люди, слушайте. От одного больного заражаются сто здоровых. Уходите из мечети, расходитесь. Пусть каждый молится у себя дома, если не хочет заболеть. Так сказал великий Ибн Сина.